Hello and welcome back to the EV Giant Adventures YouTube channel. You join me here at my local Wawa in North Wales, Pennsylvania for a continuation in my Volkswagen ID4 series. Now that may seem odd because I'm here with my 2024 Tesla Model Y, but I'm actually joined with my friend Andy who's here with his Volkswagen ID4. The ID4 was recently updated following um, uh, their Tesla Supercharger access to version 5.4.3 on their software. This was somehow connected to them getting Tesla Supercharger access, but nobody's really sure what it means. So his car was just freshly updated following a two week visit in the dealer for a software update. Watch my previous video on that. Um, so we're here at the Supercharger today, post update, to see how does it charge. We're gonna charge on the Supercharger. We're also gonna charge on the um, EVgo station, and we're gonna see if there's a difference. So join me. It should be a fun one. Okay, so you joined me here with the ID4 and we're logging all of this in VCDS as well. We had a slight change of plans. We had intended to start on the one of the superchargers here, um, but they're all full. And actually there were a couple spots open, but because of the charge port location on the ID4 being on the passenger side, we couldn't get a spot for this uh, yet. So Andy waited on the side over here until a spot was available. This is a very popular spot today. Um, both EVgo spots are now taken. There's another EVgo spot at the end where there's two cars charging, uh, a Nero and a Equinox, and then a whole fleet of Teslas, including my own, um, juicing up here. So anyway, we're here at EVgo. We're plugging in first, and let's see what we see on the screen. A very weathered EVgo screen, but Andy is currently at 25% state of charge. Um, the car next to us is at 57, and I'm not going to push any buttons on the screen because I don't want to risk interrupting the other car. Um, but anyway, let's go see how we're doing inside. So this is kind of interesting. Uh, I am seeing a dynamic charge limit of over 430 amps. Okay which uh, granted this is an EVgo, this is not a Tesla. So this is not the real test that I wanted to do, but uh, I'm pretty sure that the car has not been neutered to only do under 430 amps. Right, because the kind of the thought was that like, has this, has Volkswagen reduced the available amperage for charging from 500 or more down to 425? Right. Um, and so what we're seeing is maybe that isn't the case, right? So maybe it's, yeah. May, you know, it's still letting you charge over 425. Could be. Yeah. All right, so we'll continue to monitor and see right. how we do. And uh, I'm gonna move over to this one because this one's now open, so. Yeah, perfect. So Let we me, can uh, stop this. <laughs> this Model Y is done, it, and this stop is this. actually the perfect spot for the ID4 to charge because it is at the end spot. So um, because the ID4 has a plug location here on the um, passenger side, instead of the native Tesla location, on the driver's side, um, he really needs an end spot to only take up one spot. So I'm actually just gonna, I'm gonna stand here now, mm -hmm. and that way um, nobody else uh, parks here. Just explain, science is going on. Yes. If anybody asks. Right. And we don't wanna be too long because the uh, there's a Silverado <laughs> EV right there waiting to charge as well. So we don't wanna, the Silverado EV can plug into a supercharger if they have an adapter, I guess. Oh, okay, we are going to move the ID4. This is actually a very efficient use of the charging infrastructure available because we can charge here at this supercharger stall. The Silverado then can also charge, and we're not taking up two spots here because uh, it's an end one. So this is actually the most optimal and efficient use of the uh, of the EV uh, infrastructure today. It's going to be a little bit of a tight spot for the Silverado EV to back in, but we'll make it work, and everybody can juice up. Will it reach? It'll reach. You think it'll reach? No. <laughs> Can you hold this? Sure. And this, we are using, by the way, uh, we are using the official Volkswagen Nax adapter. This came from our local dealer, um, and we're using this, of course, on a 2024 Volkswagen ID4. This is the um, all-wheel drive model Pro S, um, and it's got, what, about 10, 11,000 miles on it? Uh, yep, something like that. And All right, so we're going into the app, of course, and, uh, and charge here. Enable it in there. And this is 2D, 2D, and let's start charging. 
think this because we've we've passed the first quest all right and then i'll take I'll, this yeah, i'll let you do it and i printed these little covers for it because it came with a very nice box but it did not um you can see what a noob i am at this it um came with a very nice box but it was too big to fit in my driver's door compartment gotcha so, now, is this your first time using the, the Volkswagen adapter? Oh, uh, I've used it once more. Look at this. Barely reaches. Okay. Nice click. Right. Um, Flashing light. So it should pulse green once it's actually charging. And it's saying attach adapter and plug in. And notice the oh, I heard it, I heard there the contactors go. go, and there we go. We are charging. So we are, nice. So we, we reached. Charging. And the car says charging started, too. So here's the big question. Is it more than 430 amps? 423. So it was just at 430 on right. the EVgo, but right. how would it know? <laughs> it may just be the charge curve yeah, itself. It could be. Uh, we're at we are at 30% 30 now. 30% now, yeah. Okay. Hmm. All right. So no, we don't, you know, we, we didn't necessarily come in here with a plan or an agenda. We just wanted to see if there was anything interesting here. And so far, there's not, which is a good thing. And it's interesting, this car doesn't have a heat pump, so you don't hear it ripping like a Tesla would, but we do hear the cable cooling here in the um, supercharger unit itself. So that's pretty That's pretty interesting. Now this is saying 152 kilowatt charging rate, which the car is reporting the same thing, 150, uh, but that's only showing 406 amps at uh, 369 volts. Interesting, and we're using VCDS to monitor everything, which is the best Volkswagen and Audi software you can get for this type of thing. Not sponsored, but we do love our friends over at Ross Tech. All right, well, it's a result. So it's dropped below, uh, below 400 amps now. Okay. So we've proven nothing. We've proven uh, nothing. We've proven, well, than, well, we've proven that the car is not neutered below 430 amps in general. Yes. Because on the EVgo, we saw more than that. Um, yes, that's true. So we were concerned did Volkswagen nerf it right. for all chargers to 425 amps because this official Volkswagen adapter is only rated for 425 right. amps. Okay. And uh, we've dropped down to 367, so... Okay, so yeah, so we've just stopped charging here. Um, our, you know, we've got enough charge to test and see what we're doing. Um, so you know, we don't, we can just charge it home where it's cheaper. We don't need to keep going here and taking and you up a spot. You heard the contactors click, and I'm going to unplug this whole assembly first. Okay. Then I'm going to unplug the Tesla connector from it. Nice. And plug it back in. I don't know why they didn't just put in magic docks everywhere. That would make life well, a little and, you easier know, it's, for... It, with the V4 dispensers, they kind of did, but they locked right. most of them out. It's I kinda... don't even really... I'm not familiar with Teslas, but this is a V4? This is a V3. It's a V3, okay. Uh, dispenser and a V3 cabinet. And you can tell um, V3s have like a thinner cable and no silver collar around it. Okay. V2s have a thicker cable because they don't have the, the cable cooling like these do. And they have a um, they have a thick silver ring at the at the top of it. Gotcha. So yeah, okay. Right. So that, anyway, so yeah, that was pretty cool. So we have um, we have done some very scientific testing, and we've confirmed that after the two-week dealer software update, the five four three on the ID four, that uh, charging appears to be unaffected, which is good. So we charged at EVgo. Uh, we saw normal charging there for this car at that state of charge. We're here at the Tesla supercharger using the adapter, and again, we saw normal state of charge there. So all right. Nothing, nothing, um, nothing really shocking here, which is really a good thing. So the um, good, the good yeah. news is for people who have a Volkswagen that has got a Volkswagen adapter and got the uh, 5.4.3 software update, the 91 VH, that it does seem to work. It doesn't seem to limit you as far as we can tell, but the next step is to come back with a much lower state of charge with higher battery voltage and let it rip at yeah. single digit percentages and see what we really get.
Nice. So, all right. So yeah, all right. So that concludes our time here at Wawa for the Tesla Supercharger. Uh, just a quick check in with the ID4. We just wanted to see what happened after that long two week software update. And so far, and you've had just a couple glitches, right? I mean, nothing really big, but just like a seat heater. It's a, a seat little... heater and there's a workaround for it. You can either use voice commands or you can double tap on the sliders in order to toggle the yeah, seat Yeah, so I'm sure those will get fixed again with another future update. But, um, but that's, that's what we have. That's the ID4. So thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you on another one again soon.